ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet here, and I'll be introducing with this brief um, one-minute uh, introduction to all the February readings, just to tell you that in the month of February, there is no full moon. The full moon is going to take place on or about the 31st of January, and we'll have a new moon the 15th, mid-month, mid-15th of February. Now, I'm going to do the readings for February with a deck called uh, the Tarot of the Obscure Fables. We'll be, I'll show you those cards. And of course, I'll have my Vera Sibilla cards here and um, Neapolitan cards, should I need them. And I'll have with me this time the very first runes that I ever used. And it's a deck. It's a, deck. It's a set of runes that I made um, myself. And we'll be seeing that. And um, also, I wanted to mention that I'll be using this channel, Cristal Martinet, for card readings, monthly card readings, and for scrying sessions, for moon readings. Anything else will be in my other... <coughs> I still haven't got off this cough. I'll be using my other video um, YouTube channel called Mystic Scrying Medium Christelle. I'll try to put a link or just men mention it below. And now off to the readings. Hi Scorpio, it's Christelle here with another reading for you for the month of February. As I say to everyone, this is um, I do my shuffling off camera after the last reading, but I like to get something done. I like to show people I do actually shuffle these cards so they can see the process. And let's concentrate on Scorpio for February 2018. Scorpio, February 2018. Whoa, some powerful cards you've got here. Let me show you, excuse me, let me show you the cards first. The Magician. The Ten of Swords. The Tower. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. What a trying month this is for you, um, Scorpio. I see you as coming into the month with a um, question of your power, uh, knowing how much power you have, knowing that you can harness power, and uh, actually testing, putting yourself to the test. How can I wield my power? How can, where are the limits to my power? And, the, and it is a matter of limits here because the action you feel, and you are fully aware of this, Leo, you're fully aware that no matter how you try and, and how much you desire, the extent of your power is well distinguished. There is a limit there, and you know your limits. You know where they are. But you constantly fight against these limits. Constantly ask yourself, wanting to know. There's this underlying uh, desire to try to find out, to try to understand, to try to, you know, and it, and it almost works against you because there is a... Um, there's a limit to how much we know, and, and people in my position doing this type of work uh, knows that. There is, we are human, we are flesh and blood, of course, okay. But the limits of the mind that are boundless, those of us who've done this work and work psychic and, um, and go into different dimensions, fully understands the power of, of the mind, really. Here, you are constantly being brought up against a wall. The tower is 
testifies to that. You're in an you're in a um, an environment. When I talk about an environment, I'm talking about your health, your uh, workplace, your relationships with others. Those things that are other than you are undergoing, will be undergoing in the month of February, um, a very trying period. You will be learning the limits of what you do, what you do not do. But there's also a very important lesson to be learned in that, an emotional lesson, the month of, um, of February. You reach the peaks when you understand, and more than understand, it's a matter of acceptance, when you are able to accept your remote emotionally uh, your emotional uh, reward is a spiritual jump of acceptance it's called love this is this is the area of love here and um, love means acceptance as well and before you can entertain any type of relationship there is an amount of acceptance that needs to be uh, uh, carried out, that needs to go down, that needs to happen before you can change, enact any kind of change. And it's very telling that the Ace of Pentacles is um, right over the Six of Pentacles in the, uh, in the uh, positions of emotion and change. What is the Six of Pentacles telling us? The Six of Pentacles tells us that when you are ready, after accepting your boundaries, your limits, and moving in an area of unconditionality, love, where there are no boundaries, this is when you are able to be able to, uh, to able to be able to, <laughs> you're able to give and receive but the 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 key word here is the giving uh, the wealth that comes your way from the giving and not only receiving extremely interesting i, I i've been I, I get a rush at this moment in every single reading and i just have now i'm feeling it again once I lay out the five cards and I explain the positions and the basic foundation of the reading for the month of February, I get a rush and I feel like I'm always almost about to faint. I just ate an apple, so let me see if I can come down, relax, and take the Virasibila and um, clarify some of the... These cards are extremely powerful. I uh, Far more than other tarot decks that I have had in my hands... Uh, for a public reading, um, the Golden Dawn. There's the Tarot of the Golden Dawn that I've used and reused. I love them, I love them, I love them. This deck is more powerful, um, extremely more powerful, at least for me as a reader. I'm going to um, go to this, these two cards first, the Ten of Swords, the action taken the month of February still get that rush in my head. I have the domestico, the house domestic here, which is also a negative energy. Um, Donna Maritata, the married woman, woman with children, this is a protector, could be a man, and the deliranti, delirious people. Now, what we have here is the difficulty for you, Scorpio, of understanding where is my home? Where will be my home? Who is this person in my life? The person who makes me feel at home, the person who makes me feel protected, the person who, this could be you as well, for many of you, Scorpio. But there is, I'm seeing an outward projection um, you, you would like, all right? What I'm seeing is that, Scorpio, you would like to, Give another person that responsibility, helping you in some way to cope with your current life, your current situations, even the problems that you feel. But there's also the other half of you, uh, Scorpio, who 
are fully aware that I've come this far. If I'm alone, if you're not partnered, I can do it. I can do it surely. But there's this pair that frame the Donna Maritata that, um, of, of course, uh, negative energy and negative energy, um, they, they cancel each other out. But there is a num there's a, a, a lot of energy spent in these remo r ruminings about where am I going to, uh, to hang my hat. And you are looking forward. You're looking forward well past February. You're thinking um, there's something here that I have to attend to. There is a decision I need to make or I would like to make or I would like someone else to make it for me even. This is, you know, it's funny because what I'm getting here is you, you standing um, on your own two feet in your own position with, you know, firmly planted. But at the same time, your mind is projected forward and you would like someone else to give you the answers and someone else to come forward and just say, okay, I'm, you know, I'm with you. But at the same time, you're reticent toward that. Very, very confusing and, and, and a contradictory energy. I'm going now to the um, a very powerful reading this is, uh, to the tower and see what that can, uh, what these cards can, and isn't it interesting, look what has come out, first we had the Donat Maritata, which was the female protector, now we have the Gran Signora, who, is, who comes out as being the male protector here, we have the Anima and Animos here, and I still believe this is you, with these two sides of you, being stalwart in your male energy, in your animus, and uh, being protective nonetheless of your ani in your anima. So we have this uh, Gran Signore, the male protector, dispiacere, sadness, and the messaggero. The messaggero is the animus to you. There is very much tension between this anima animus, that you're uh, literally playing tennis with yourself. But there's an underlying thought in the mind that you would love to give the ball to someone else, in someone else's court, and have them, you know, solve the conundrum for you. Let's take a look at what the runes have to say for the month of February for you. Just roll them out. <laughs> Um, Scorpio. Nice runes, nice room, trying runes. Uh, yeah, look, in, in the heat of things uh, is this nameless, faceless rune called weird. And you definitely are, I want to do it my way, I'm going to do it my way, I have to give myself my own answers. All right, alongside this, I have two messages. One is, yes, okay, how low can you go? How deep inside? This is Hagal, Hagalas. How much do I have to go in? And you are there. You're in within. You're, you're definitely day in and day out. You, <coughs> excuse me, you have this um, uh, uh, profound way of diving into your feelings and, and what if, and, and what if, you know, again and over and over again. But, and then Iwats, Awats here, um, is a protective rune, all right? You will not lose yourself by going within. Okay, this is, this is guaranteed. However, however, and uh, Aljitz is here also as a protective rune, so embracing you, you know, saying, okay, all is, 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 is fine, will be fine for you. There are three elements here. There is Pedro Bregstave, and uh, you know absolutely, without the shadow of a doubt, that it is that qualitative jump spiritually that will come once you're able to embrace your condition and be honest to yourself about your own condition. And, and when I say condition, I mean condition of life. We all have our own. Once you can accept yours, I have the key, Otala, the key to understanding what it was about your condition and the way you have managed it that has made you so sad, kept you in sad mode until now. This, if you're able to go through that, 
we've got Zoilo, ultimately success for you to come out of your conundrum, your existential difficulty, Scorpio. This is a, um, a classical, because remember we came in with the magician. This is a classical. The month of February affords you this, affords you ability of attracting what you truly desire. You need to know what it is that you desire. Once you know that, February will bring it to you. I hope this was of help. Such a difficult, you know, I mean, my head hurts at the end of the of every single, um, I need to drink more water doing this. Um, I hope this was of help. My diehard subscribers, thank you for, for sticking with me. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Do like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Namaste, and until we read together again. Bye-bye.